Now we've finished discussing material properties, and we're going to move on to talk about cell zones and boundary zones. The computational mesh consists of a large number of finite volumes, or cells as we call them, and these cells are grouped into one or more cell zones. If you have a conjugate heat transfer problem, there might be one cell zone for the fluid region and another cell zone for the solid region. Each of the cells in the mesh is bounded by a number of faces, and all of the faces of all of the cells are grouped into one or more face zones. Some of the faces are located on the boundaries of the model, like we see over here on the, in the green face, and the zones that these faces belong to are called boundary zones. So to summarize, in order to solve the problem, cell zone conditions need to be applied to all of the cell zones, and boundary conditions need to be applied to all of the boundary zones. Defining cell zone conditions is easy. You just select cell zone conditions in the problem setup tree, and then you select a zone from the list of available cell zones, tell Fluent whether it should be a fluid zone or a solid zone, and click Edit. Cell zones in Fluent can be specified as either fluid or solid zones. A fluid cell zone, which we just refer to as a fluid zone, is a group of cells where all active equations are solved, and a solid cell zone is a group of cells where it only solves the energy equation for conduction in the solid. Because we can define different kinds of cell zones, it allows us to do things like the conjugate heat transfer problem or rotating machinery example that we see on the slide here. On the left, there's a conjugate heat transfer problem where it's a simulation of a copper heating coil in water, so you need to define a fluid zone for the water and specify the material properties for the water, and then in that zone, it solves the equations of flow and heat transfer. And for the copper region, which is shown in red, you specify just the copper properties, and there, fluent solves only the heat transfer equation for the conduction in the solid zone. On the right, there's an example of a rotating machinery problem, where to account for rotational motion, there's a rotor zone and a stator fluid zone. In the rotor fluid zone, the equations of motion are solved in the rotating frame of reference, and in the stator fluid zone, the equations of motions are solved in a stationary frame of reference. 